My friend Hector still hasn't got the 69. So this week, other than hopefully pushing the 13,000 trophies, Exotic and I are going to attempt to get him to that milestone. On the first day of week three, my goal was to increase my win streak and get a few brawlers to 300 trophies on my way to 11,500. But before that, I like to remind you that sneak peek season is right around the corner. So make sure you guys subscribe to stay informed about the latest updates in Brawl Stars. Right off the bat in our very first game, Exotic missed this goal by choosing not to walk it in but i was picking up slack for the team all the exotic slander aside he was generally cooking he got 12 kills in one game 11 kills in another generally it was the exotic show and my 300 trophy game didn't change that next i hopped on to carl and i needed over 100 trophies here exotic still on his power 10 edgar was running all over these enemies it isn't even about the kills he just generally was at the right place at the right time for both the kills and the goals and this feels like his redemption arc most of the games of this trophy range were simple 30 second ones where we were just running it down. That's not to say that Hector didn't do much on Frank since his wall breaks and stuns were imperative to our success. We swapped over to Knockout next, so we were facing very different brawlers now, but with our Edgar, things were seemingly simple. We won two more games and then moved on to the 300 trophy game, which is actually pretty funny. The first round went by easily enough, but the second round is where we had some troubles. Both Hector and I died and it was a mano y mano between Exotic and Amon the Mortis. And what is this Mortis expecting? Like, you can run forever, but eventually, you're gonna die. Anyway, after the win, it was time to bring out the lollipop assassin into the arena. I moved sneakily through the brush and bamboozled this Larry, and then I did the same to this bee on the right. I honestly hate this map for Leon, so we swapped over to Brawl Ball instead. The other games for Leon were just the same rigmarole, where Exotic eviscerated teams with his Edgar. And finally, we were at my 300 trophy Leon game, where we faced a Willow, Griff, and Frank. It started like any other, Exotic got up close and personal, and Hector and I tried to pass in the ball, which we did. But then this happened. There we go. <laughs> oh, he still got it. <laughs> and after we scored the second one, which was rather easy. And just like that, I reached the goal for today. Today is Valentine's Day, and I need to continue my bromance with Hector in the Complete Me Challenge. If you don't know what that is, you have to win Duo Showdown eight times with a loved one, and you're rewarded with seven star drops and two sprays that will let your significant other know that they complete you. I took the monkey out in my first five games, and the first map is on Feast or Famine. After my first hit on a mega box in game one, I realized that I took the wrong star power for this mode. I decided to hunt the Larry and I ran away from the foliage, but not only did the Larry not die at my hands, I couldn't collect the cubes to beef up Hector before dying. Hector still managed to stay alive and after respawning, we proceeded to pick off one team after the other to cop the dub finally. In the next game, I still didn't swap my star power and died almost immediately. Once again, it was up to Hector to survive and he did long enough for me to respawn and take revenge on the 9 cube dynamite. And then somehow all the teams magically decided to die almost immediately after. While the map is different, guess who didn't swap out their star power yet? This guy! The game still started great with me grabbing two cubes from a Larry and a Primo, and I went all the way up to 10 cubes and I was feeling dangerous. In fact, I was the one in danger. My dumb instincts led me to die and left Hector all alone to fend for himself against a very aggressive Edgar and Fang. We were severely outmatched in the showdown, but with Hector getting his hypercharge on Crow, we narrowly caught the dub here. The next two games were also pretty easy wins here with us sweeping through the opponents. Game 6 had me swapping over to the Robo Twins, and while it was initially difficult to get into the fray, we managed to push our way in. And with the team wipe, I was able to secure a lot of gems for myself. Unfortunately though, I got a bit too close to the enemy Larry, and the respawning Edgar hypercharged me to my demise. But, you know, it's still top two. The next game was us farming for power cubes and picking off teams till the end where I misjudged how far away I needed to be from Edgar and he clapped both me and Hector. Luckily though, I earned dynamite star power from the legendary star drop for my troubles. The final game of this challenge had us facing a lot of teams that had Robo Twins. Right from the start, we had it out against this Larry and Jackie team 
who were being needlessly antagonistic, but we first picked off the Larry. Then we moved on to working together to pitch Jackie and take her out. Finally, it was time for the death match between us and the Larry and Edgar combo, but after looking at their power cubes, we knew the game was as good as done as they collapsed onto us to take us out. And with that, Hector and I can now canoodle with these sprays from now on. Due to the Valentine's Day challenge, I didn't get much time to push my brawlers, so I decided that today, I'm going to get to 11.8k trophies. So there are two minor goals for today. Get Rico to rank 20, and then get M to 400 trophies. But before that, here's what I got for my 8 free star draws for the Lunar Brawl calendar. 500 XP, 100 power points, 100 coins, a Carl pin, and a Poco Clap pin. And from the legendary star drop, I earned one of Miko's star powers. That's going to save me 2,000 coins. I started with Rico on Hard Rock Mine. With me being power 5, I'm generally a bit underleveled here, and I was getting harassed by this great who kept teleporting on me and taking me out. But Sleepy picked up the slack and even though the other team forced a reset, he ensured that we won the game. The next game though, I held my own and I was cooking, managing to chain my supers and connecting it to multiple enemies. And that was enough to give us the dub. Sleepy decided that he didn't want to be outdone, so he copped 8 kills off his own. Ops didn't want to be left out of the festivities and started cycling his Terra super against his Poco and Frank. But it wasn't always great as sometimes we had some terrible miscalculations like here when CB misjudged his survivability by supering into two targets and losing all the gems. The other games though weren't as eventful as we started racking up win after win with Sleepy, Ops, and I taking turns being star player. In my last game with Rico, Ops and I did a splendid job just being menaces on our lane and keeping enemies in their spawn repeatedly and that allowed me to get Rico to rank 20 in Brawl Stars. With that done, it's time for the zombified mummy to take center stage. Brawl Ball was a mode of choice and these gains were pretty fast. Ops is generally a decent Terra, but this super makes me question that. Obviously, with that play, we lost all control and conceded a goal, but Sleepy started cycling his hot dogs and after a lot of struggling, we managed to walk it in. And then it was my final goal for the day where I hope to finish my last minor goal. We were facing triple tanks, which at this range, I should do decently well against, and we managed to clear the mid off the enemies, and Sleepy even managed to time his goal so he could waste the buzz's super. I was a little afraid since the Fang did have super, but fortunately for us, he was AFK and after dispatching the buzz, it was just a matter of us walking the ball in for the dub and that effectively allowed me to get M's to 400 trophies. On day 46, it was time for Mega Pig, and this one is a bit special. As per usual, we have to play 15 games, but now it's always going to be Brawl Ball. Since the first game was on Backyard with no modifiers, I opted for Colt, and the game was a rather mundane one as the opposing Dynamite was AFK. We wrapped this one up in under 30 seconds, just walking it down. Next up was Triple Dribble, and this map works pretty decently with Double Throwers and Amico, so we did exactly that. Honestly, this one was also really easy especially because of the Larry on our squad. I continued with Dyna on field goal and got a really nice wall break which allowed me to score the first goal. This also set up an open line for Exotic to just super kick it in. It's the same map now, but I'm opting for Colt here instead. But we have to be careful since it is the unlimited power modifier. The first goal was easy enough, though apprehension washed over me as we were going to be outgunned in the second engage due to all the power cubes, but we managed to close this one up as well. I stuck with Colt in backyard bowl with the grass modifier and we caught the first goal in under 20 seconds. All in all, it was going rather smooth, The Hector had an amazing miss on the goal here. Ultimately though, we took the dub. The next two games had me take Jackie, and the first one was done in under 40 seconds. But the second one was troublesome, since we faced a hypercharged Leon and Lou, and I didn't particularly fare well against Anita. We outmaneuvered the other team, working well together to get the first goal. But then it was our time to struggle. With the Leon's up close damage, or the race being placed down by Lou, it was just painful. And after a hard fought battle, we came out victorious. Since the modifier this time was unlimited cubes, I opted to run Colt again. 
I felt like with some range, I could be a huge threat here. And the first goal was in under 15 seconds. And another 20 later, we copped the dub after this nice double kill with my super. Jackie on field goal at power 5 is a big gamble, one which I decided to partake in. And we did get the first goal in 20 seconds here, but facing a hypercharged Fang as a Colt or a power 5 Jackie isn't the best situation and we conceded our first goal. The opposing Colt also did a number on us, beaming us down, leading to our first loss of the day. I decided that I should finish the rest of the matches with Colt to ensure there aren't as many scares anymore. In game 10, with the unlimited power cube modifier, we did face a Larry on the other team, but Exotic was rocking the Robo Twin on our side as well, which meant that we finished the game swiftly despite the power cube deficit. The rest of the games went by rather unremarkably, and it was just us winning within half a minute a lot. And in the 14th game, the enemy team team laid out the red carpet for me to just super kick it in and the last game was also over in a flash but despite going 14 for 15 it still wasn't enough to come out top in the club so we have to settle for the second rung. It's day 47 and it's about time that we get close to our goal for the week, a 69 win streak. On the way to get there I also get Terra, Piper and beat a 500 trophies. First up on the block is a mythic tarot card reader. The first game itself was a bit of a roller coaster where we conceded within the first 35 seconds. But then I got a nice double pull on the Frank and Colette, followed by a huge miss on my super, which is frankly embarrassing. In another game, we had a difficult situation where the other team was about to score, but I managed to chain a few supers that allowed us to stay in the game, which was pretty cool. In my 11.9k trophy game, I was cooking and had a bunch of nice supers, effectively neutralizing the opposing Ash repeatedly. And I even managed to suck this Griff off to score the goal. We won a flurry of games very quickly quickly, including the 400 trophy game. There were other games where I did nothing for my team, like this one, or this one, or even this one. But ultimately, my team and I were able to get me to rank 20 on Terra. Next, I brought up Piper in close quarters, and generally, I'm great at Piper, but sometimes, I'm also an idiot. Like here, I tried to go in for an aggressive wall break and it ended up dying. Nonetheless, I got 3 kills in the first game. In the next, I doubled down and got 4 more kills. Meanwhile, Hector struggles to break this turret. Our win streak is now at 48 and we're getting close to one of the goals for the week. And the following game was a pretty intense one and it seemed like we might lose the first round itself. But we survived due to some precise snipes. In the next round, we were caught off guard by this aggressive Jesse, and she managed to get both me and Hector down. And in a 1v2 scenario, Exotic just couldn't clutch it up. In the final round, Hector and I were hyper focused on this Jesse, but I completely lost track of the Lou since he barely did anything in all these rounds and while taking out Jesse, I died. And then it became a 2v2 situation and there wasn't a snowball's chance in hell that they'd make it, especially with the Edgar swooping in and destroying Hector. And with the streak dead in the water, I decided to upgrade Piper to power 7 and grab her knockback gadget as well. The other games weren't as challenging as I net 3 kills in one game, 4 kills in another, and 3 kills in one more. The 500 trophy game was also rather smooth since my team and I were well oiled machines at that point. And despite facing Larry, we were able to easily get me to that rank 20 milestone and I also copped the bronze to mastery. The final brawler for the day is B. With Hector on his signature Mandy and Exotic on the Colt, these games were easy peasy. It was just a bunch of Mandy supers and some sus Colt wall breaks from Exotic and me getting the occasional tap. We didn't drop a single round in this push at all. And in the final game of the day, things were a little bit spicy as we did drop a round against a Larry, but we ended up taking the dub overall and that got my B to rank 20. So I've decided that I'm gonna be chilling on Sundays and that means no recordings. But this weekend, I am gonna be breaking that because I have to cover all those sneak peek videos. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that. So I did do some chores. I cooked some food for the week. I got some groceries and I even cut my hair. On the last day of week three, I need to start hustling. I wanted to get to 13k trophies and I'm almost a light year away from my goal. So the game plan is that I have to get Poco, Penny, Nita, and Leon to 500 trophies before this day ends. The Mariachi is certainly interesting to play with and a few games in we had such a difficult game that it felt like worlds. We faced a team that had a Gale with the slow star power and a Jackie that made it impossible to get close. Our only hope was to somehow hold off to overtime and the Jackie was running the rebuild gadget which makes it 10 
10 times worse for us, but we managed to synergize well and Hector threaded the needle to deliver us the dub. Honestly, today was Exotic's day. Hell, it wouldn't be wrong to say that it's been Exotic's week. He's been carrying on every brawler and we proceeded to win a flurry of games once more. Even the 500 trophy game was just a matter of course. Next, I hopped on the M's and the servers haven't been all that great. I've been getting random shot delays and random moments where I'm lagging and can't move properly. Nonetheless, the matches were effortless and after copying a lot of dubs, I moved on to my 500 trophy game with her, which also got over in a minute. Penny was an next brawler on the block and after an 0-0 game, Exotic boldly stated that he's got star player 90% of the time and I think it's time to change that. So I started going crazy with Penny and net 8 kills in the very next game and another 8 in the next one as well. After a little bit, I did finally get my penny to 500 trophies. Then it was time for Nita to take center stage and I upgraded her to power 7 right off the bat while also getting her stun gadget as well. I continued on with my domination and that meant getting star player a lot more often. And in my 400 trophy game, Hector carried like a madman. This man on Daryl is a force to be reckoned with and with him on that brawler, we just kept winning again and again and again. And we even won our 50 streak game effortlessly while also getting 12.6k trophies. After a couple more games, we breezed through the 500 trophy game on Nita as well. To finish off this week, I opted to pick up the lollipop assassin once more and Hector got 5 kills in the very first game. Since I felt a bit underwhelming, I upgraded Leon to power 7 and got the lollipop gadget as well just to be able to provide some more cover for my teammate. We were at a 62 win streak, just a few more till we hit the goal, and I had a death match against a Piper to deliver our 63rd win, but I ended up choking and lost the bout. In the next round, I went way too aggressively and had nobody to cover for me, and that left Hector and our Edgar in a 2v2. You should never trust randoms, and that was my failing as he died doing nothing. Then it was a 1v2 for Hector to keep his dreams alive. He just Dispatched the kit, but now it was time for him to take down the Piper, but unfortunately, he failed to connect his shots and the Piper didn't, and that was the end of the streak. And no, I didn't hit either goal this week, and sometimes that's okay.